Chose destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. This will be a noble battle. Of course. All systems up and running. Pre-flight complete. Let's get a clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. Forward sensor, online and tracking. Helix Squadron, we're prepping. 
Moving your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate flight controls. Absolutely. Understood. Follow down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage.
begin by inspecting that ship. Down. 
targets destroyed. Captain, the rebel fighters are coming from that tunnel through the station. The refugee convoy must be hiding in there. After them. We'll deal with you later, Station Master. You attack my station and customers, then blame me? There. The convoy. Prepare to fire. They disabled my ship. All systems down. Those were iron missiles. Where the hell did they come from? I'm sorry, Teresa. After all, Teresa. I can't ignore what the Empire's become. Sir? Linden, what are you saying? That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Damn it! Pilot, see if you can bypass his shutdown. Keep it together! Catch up with that traitor! Lieutenant Carroll to the Vigilance. Captain James is aiding the Rebellion. Send immediate assistance. I hope they wouldn't come to this. Missiles, watch out! Don't!
formation. Echo 2 standing by. Echo 5 standing by. On your way. Okay, squadron. Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U-Wing for resupply.
Let's get in position and escort these transports. I'm right beside you. This is Admiral Akbar of the Rebel Alliance. Echo Leader reports you're willing to defect. Willing and able. Then keep assisting Echo Squadron. Let's 
dark, freedom, or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting it, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Friss? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored. 
to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Yeah. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled. Mm. Which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. to expect you. I'm Zerelda Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, yeah? You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them, then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well... I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. I'm Kyo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wings sooner than later. See you out there. Hello. Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. 
Yes. Unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hotshots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. Attention all mechanics. Fuel line cycling will begin shortly. Nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name. And only when she's mad. I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or er, New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? <laughs> or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn? That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. Say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh, go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. Engine testing is in progress. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X-Wing ready for you here. A real beauty if you need... Sorry. The droid's giving me the eye. Little Ross Buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. We should run a pre-flight check on your X-Wing. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. Ah, the X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our New Republic. A good all-rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Quiet, tin can. We got a pre-flight check to do. Radar. Working like a dream. Loadout data. Looking good. Combat display? Check. Primary weapons, charged up. Ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost? Good to go. Hull integrity? Never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Me. 
In formation. Away we go. Stay close, Vanguard 5. You remember your mission parameters, Vanguard Squadron? Find the scouts, smash the jamming ships. And get back before the cantina closes. I think Commander Jave skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Otto. We'll be careful. once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. Our jump point's just ahead. Hyperspace coordinates calculated. Engines are hot. Let's do this, Vanguard Squadron. This never gets old, eh, hey, Grace? Never. Let's go. Scouts showing on sensors. You got anything, Grace? Negative. We've got to be able to find someone out here. Wait. I've got a Republic signal. Temperance, we may have found them. <laughs> Heavy interference. Gunny and Kia will take care of that shortly. We should investigate the signal and regroup with them.
off our tail then. protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Gunny. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Okay. Here we go. He's got a lock on me.
fucking on to me. That's a missile on me! Hey! I'm not dead. Thanks! That was too close. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying, 
I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Kiel? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins? No, wait! Delon Vuk. Yeah, that's it! Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Commander's waiting. So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Where Gentiles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE Fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent, enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too, at Sky Strike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, he'd be smart to listen. You know... A wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. So, we're headed to Yavin. In exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. 
Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. The commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. brings back memories. Let's hope for some of that Skywalker luck today. All right. Ready, Vanguard? We're heading for the heart of the action. Vanguard, follow his lead. This is Talus Leader, calling for immediate assistance. Captain Antilles with Vanguard Squadron. Here to help. It's damn good to see you, Wedge. We've taken heavy losses. We need that Star Destroyer stopped. Don't you worry. We're here to hijack it. You're what? Be ready. Interceptors. Those have got to be the first to go. Agreed. They're fast. They'll rip right through our fighters. Vanguard, prioritize targets. <laughs> Focus your shields. 
shields before they open fire on us. Frisk. 
New wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. We'll give them cover. Bad guy. Let's go.
Let's regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors! Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be faffing around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. Now that was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin! We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for. The good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Jabes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the commander might appreciate some backup. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Lender, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. Now, I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. 
I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Clon Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was, my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. I should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. And this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those, uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch for us, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Karelian lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. A-wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Sit tight. 
Five, intercept those TIE bombers. We need to buy our crew some time. Frisk and I will handle the rest of the Starfighters. An information. Victoria, these bombers are coming in fast. You might want to activate turbo lasers. No can do. Their ion weapons knocked out our systems. We were defenseless until you arrived. Understood. We'll put an end to that bombing run. Why wings are here? 
Vanguard, if we lose our bombers, we're done for. Take out those ties.
position, Victorum. I'm in formation. Where are we headed? Somewhere classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got them. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? The hyperdrive failed again. No. Running a diagnostic on the alluvial damper. Okay. 
tell me twice. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I've given a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk Project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, soul. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved you all name. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, soul. And Von Rick. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. <laughs> So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Welcome home, pilot. 
It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosni and space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. If only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps. Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorne. Like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. You'll be the new pilot. Sergeant Waite, chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The Overseer saw some action at Pothor and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission, Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say, I don't know how you and Titan cope out there. No shields or life support, just whole plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge, shields or not. I've prepared your starfighter to match the latest Imperial guidelines. 
But if you've got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Your TIE fighter's ready. Good flying. Newcomer. Welcome to Titan. Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <coughs> Don't annoy Von Rack. Good talk. Another time. You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our Emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. <laughs> Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. The TIE Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. Your loadout, however, is not standard. And again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. You have a good eye.
Let's go.
my respect. Shuttle Gladius, jump into light speed. We did it. Squadron, reach the carrier and load up. Let's leave this wretched system. More rebel ships inbound. When Captain Carroll said she was bringing in one more pilot, I didn't know what to expect. I've been flying a long time. This wouldn't be the first squadron I've seen compromised by nepotism. But you did well today, pilot. Most spy extractions end with significantly more casualties. If the team had any reservations about you joining Titan Squadron, you certainly put them to rest. Now let's go. Captain Carroll is waiting. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all.
It's good to see Admiral Sloan's spy network is intact. We can't operate in the dark. Half of the Empire's fracturing is down to commanders operating in isolation, without a grander strategy. They forget we're all one Empire, or should be. Perhaps annihilating this Starhawk will bring us together. You see Admiral Sloan's overall goal, yes? Unify, purify, and inspire. When we defeat this new Republic, we'll have survived the Crucible and come out stronger for it. On to bigger things. A simple in and out mission should be painless for us, but stay on your toes. You never know what cheap tricks the rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Kriego. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. The Captain has a personal stake in Project Starhawk. A vendetta with Lyndon Javes. Take it from me, nothing motivates like betrayal. I've seen too many good pilots. Friends turned traitor. I put them out of their misery, but there's always more out there. Iden Bersia, Erika Quell, Lyndon Javes. They're not just traitors, they're loose ends. Problems to solve once the war is done. We should go. The TIE Reaper's a specialist mode, made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. With this loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars, and tactical shields to protect allied TIEs. Patience, Von Reg. 
we'll have plenty of new targets once we locate Project Starhawk. Yes, sir. You're right. It's smarter to hit them at the source than slow them down. Move to the next debris cluster. Thank 
Thanks to Captain Amos. Physically retrieving the nav data is our last chance at finding Project Starhawk.
lucky I was here. Tactical shields got you covered. was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. This is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. You're 
right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Osney and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial Post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost... Imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but... You must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the Commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Y-Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships.
You know how to pick them. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. 
Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go. Five, give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away.
this. This is our last chance to protect it. Three interceptors coming our way. Enemy phone going with me. Instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials. <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turned into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. <laughs> well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. 
They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer, and hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. If Linden's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Linden's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. The bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted, and Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. So, the boss wants to pull the old bait-and-switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. Attention all droids. 
I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions, but what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? You got your choice of fighters for this mission. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. You're gonna like that. Let's blast them a path. <laughs> 
Hostiles break it up. Let's push on. The ambush point is this way. Ready? Let's go. Right here and ready to go.
right where we want them. With interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Also Rem, Remetic system, grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! <laughs> uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grawl. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well... Lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now! Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. 
But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack, and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire, therefore they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Viradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Beradium and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Beradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Beradium, halt the Rebel Assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Graham is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Graham's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Graum can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes, but I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Grom may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. It never fails. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. My brothers died on a rebel raid with 181st that never should have happened. I blame the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster and you'll always find some bantha-brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Let's go. This routine is familiar. We've suffered. We're damaged. Broken, even. But it's not the end. Never is. Next steps are simple. We heal up. Find Vanguard. Then take revenge. The first crash was hardest. Had to relearn breathing, walking. So my cockpit in nightmares. Wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. But pain is personal. 
personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So, step by step, I conquered pain. I rose. I flew. The Deary's ahead. Until... And... Until then, surviving is revenge. Let's fix this. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. Good choice.
tower is clear. No sign of the rebels yet. Braum has several ships in the area. Target and scan them to locate the Peridium. Titan 3, split up and find it. Scanning freighter. Titan 3, do the same. Heavy ion cannons and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan 3. Got a plan. During the job mass incursion, our forces used Beridium. Moved it with Zeta class cargo shuttles. If Grom has Beridium, he might be doing the same. Beridium strikes to drive the rebels out of hiding a job mess. They didn't flush the rebels out, it incinerated them.
squadron. LT-514 will remote pilot the cargo ship to the Overseer.
Lieutenant Frigate. Destroy it immediately. Shen, take point with ion bombs. We'll follow your lead. I'll bring down their shields. Titan 3, you'll focus on the turrets after the Frigate's shields go down. Amos, Gram, we keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Gram need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul, but remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. 
Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan Three, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorse, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test, pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission, it reminds me why I keep fighting, despite my age, despite the fatigue. We're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. When we lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. For now, let's focus on the mission. Anvil Squadron. Been a while. They shot me down once. Lost two vertebrae that time. Seen the anvil burn. Might ease some pain. Overseer's fixed. Good. Superstructure was groaning. Kept me awake. Implants, your metal stresses. Handy in combat. Other times... It's annoying. Hmm. Been watching the mouse strides. They always seem scared. Wonder why. Time to go.
For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE Fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice.
You have skill. I'll give you that. That's how it's done.
all three. Attacking civilians. How much lower can the Imperials sink? This is so precious. Let's press on when you're ready. Here and ready to go.
charging at me!
complete. Music to my ears. Thanks for making it happen, three. Making our empire proud. The Republic will rush to defend Moncala and leave Nadiri wide open. Excellent work. Our final target lies ahead. Let's talk. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next. Our diversion was a success. The Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Moncala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Baradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Baradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Baradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. So, on to Nadira. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Baradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Baradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The Rebel's squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. Before us is a historic victory, if we have the metal to seize it. The Baradium? The Overseer, even our TIE Fighters, are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the Rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the Rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains. And the Starhawk. No doubt the Rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what our Baradium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. You know this attack is about more than the Starhawk, Vanguard, or even the Dockyards. 
It represents a strike at everything this new Republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New Republic. Even the name's a joke. The Republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the New Republic for the sham it really is. It's clear the Captain trusts you. Leading the Baradium strike against the Starhawk is a big responsibility. You've more than proved you're capable. Agreed. The path has been long, but I'm proud to fly with both of you. What's next? After the war? I've been at this a long, long time. I'll retire. Maybe somewhere quiet, near the water. My husband would be happy anywhere without Dura steel walls at this point. What about you, Shen? This is what I do. I'm needed here. War or not. Fair enough. Time to go. Consider outfitting your bomber to handle New Republic fighters, as well as their capital ships. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're cleared to give you Baradium explosives.
Cassia now. I'd say you owe me one. Took you long enough. You'll have to try harder than that.
finish what needs finishing, then regroup.
shot.
their hyperdrives are too damaged to jump. Linden won't escape this time. They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. What could she do with our missile guidance, Cranwood? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But. In order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. <laughs> I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon James... And Vanguard. Ah, yes. Vanguard Squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Varko, don't die. You said it a hundred times. None of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, 
then I want that good old Von Reg fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri, and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. Can we just get started? For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE Bomber or a TIE Reaper.
eliminated. I didn't need your help.
here. Get ready. The frigate is almost in range of the cluster. Can you talk? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindole has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. But the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait. And hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise 
that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? <sighs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak, but when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do, especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these years on the Temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron.
Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Are now active. 
Keep them safe. The more we have, the stronger our distress signal. May I join you? We need time for the commsat to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress signal to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the commsats. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the Empire off our commsats. Who loves tactical shields? You do. More ties headed our way! You're good now. They sent tie bombers. Uh, that's not good.
Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. If I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. 
Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target, the Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally, but a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload, and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Jave stop you now. This is it. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes. And heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloan's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire. Beyond Death Stars and Rebels is within our grasp. That is what I'm fighting for. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Captain, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken-down rebel fleet? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. 
It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this pasting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field. And I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron, and yourself in particular. Watching you hunt rebels has been very educational. And rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. This is it then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice.
so close.
Carol. We've wiped out most of the enemy capital ships. Numbers aren't everything. It's leadership that wins a battle. And fury. You're welcome. You'll have to try harder than that.
tight space will make that tricky. Don't forget to give yourself room to decelerate. Commander, the Titan Starfighter just breached the Starhawk's hull. They're inside. Copy and leader. Carissa, what are you up to? I'm finishing what I began in this area. <laughs>
Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron, with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. confirmed what you already knew, Keo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long. If I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we? I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Lyndon's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, 
An inspiration, even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Thanks to your work on the Comsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Lyndon Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky. But sacrificing this Starhawk will save our fleet, and the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. You should know, Lyndon always speaks... ...spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. But Lyndon was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Lyndon bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri? Lyndon. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Scared? We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you gonna do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shaddaa? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. It's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister... 
But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside, proudly, until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I am proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunny, Kyo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go! Ain't every day you crash a Starhawk into the moon. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-Wing, Y-Wing, U-Wing, A-Wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the sun systems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a miner. <laughs>
Everything you've got. 
shot.
like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Syndulla sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From the Deary, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. 
The war goes on. But we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era.